Okay, this is a reaction video. This is from Passport 2. Please click like, share, and subscribe for them as well as right down there for me. I would appreciate it. Five things Germans do that make them totally different from what Americans imagine. I've done a few of these kind of videos uh, from Passport 2, but let's see what, they saw, th what these are. No! Germany and specifically Germans were not at all what I expected. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. I am Donnie and along with my wife Aubrey we are two Americans currently living in Germany with our baby sharing all of our experiences living and traveling throughout Europe. There are a ton of stereotypes Americans have for Germans and I would venture to say that most of them annoy Germans and unknowingly come from falsely applying an already cartoonish and overly dramatized perceptions. Well, most people who've never been to Germany, who've never met a German before, probably thinks of them as, uh, you know, unfunny, un, you know, un, you know, basically, you know, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, probably like un, very unfunny, very un, not not a whole lot of pizzazz with them. They're very straightforward and things like that. But you know. I, I found Germans very, very friendly, very nice, and very uh, outgoing. Specifically of Bavarians to the rest of Germany. But then I moved to Germany and found that even Germans have stereotypes of Germans, and they are totally different from the stereotypes Americans have of Germans. On German TikToks, Instagram Reels, or YouTube videos, I have seen tons of Germans poking a little fun at their fellow countrymen and some of their, well let's just say unique tendencies that I didn't know existed before moving here. But even beyond random stereotypes, there are just simply some things about German culture or some things I've seen Germans do that I never would have known about Germans unless we would have moved here like we did three and a half years ago. And that's exactly what I'm going to talk about today in my video. More than a stereotype, this is what Germans are like. Again, like I said, I, 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 the Germans that I, I I encountered when I was in Germany were very friendly, outgoing people. Very nice. Maybe it was because of the World Cup. I don't know. But they were very friendly, outgoing. I don't know what, what, what these uh, things are that uh, he's talking about. But let's, let's find out. So first off, I just have to say that, like I mentioned in the intro, often the German culture that people around the world know is actually just Bavarian culture wrongfully applied to the rest of the country. And I guess he's talking about the Lederhosen and the uh, beer garden, things like that. I guess that's what he's talking about. I've talked about why this is the case in other videos, and I've also talked before about how surprising it was for us to learn just how incredibly diverse German cultures are across Germany. So generally speaking, we all should know by now that stereotypes are often wrong and should be taken with a grain of salt. So, Yeah, I mean, look, uh, 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 the stereotypical American, there's a stereotypical of what an American is, but we're different. We're different from Northeastern American, Southern American, Western American, Midwestern American, uh, Southeastern. You know, we all, we're all different, okay? But I guess what he's trying to say is there's just the same kind of difference in Germany as well. So I'll say for the sake of being a little more specific that we are originally from a southern state in the U.S. called Oklahoma and now live in the southwestern German state of rheinland pfalz So our experiences are generally more specific to these two places, although we have traveled extensively throughout Germany and have a pretty good idea of what different regions are like. But with all that being said, those stereotypes that are generally wrong that I'm referring to are often held by people that may never have even stepped foot in Germany and therefore haven't seen the re and you know, my only impression when I got before I got to Germany when I was back in 2006 was uh you know was World War II okay that that was it that was all I knew about and my brother had told me because he'd been to Germany before and told me it was it was a nice place so that was pretty much my only perception when I got before what, what, what people like in, were like in Germany not that they were all Nazis or anything like that because I said World War II but um you know you you know, you have this feeling of this stern look, 
from the from 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 a, a German and uh, uh, very uh, reserved and not 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 very flamboyant, so to speak. But then when you get there, you find out they're just no different from anybody else and very very outgoing and very very friendly. Reality of life in Germany. But this first thing I learned about Germans only after moving to Germany are generalized stereotypes that Germans have for Germans all across the country. So maybe these should be a little more accurate. However, these stereotypes partly actually come originally from a different culture. So the internet has pretty successfully destroyed the chances of any future babies being named Karen, as it has been coined for entitled middle-aged or older white. Yeah, Karen is a middle a titled middle-aged white woman. White women who yell for the manager. Well, just like when you see someone matching this description in public and label them as a Karen in the U.S., in Germany we have learned that they have the Alman. What we have learned is that an Alman is the stereotypical German in Germany. In fact, on the German network SVR, a famous German online internet personality, Phil Lauda, now has his own series called Almania, which is about the most German teacher in Germany, correct, rule obsessed, and, um, lactose intolerant. Now, a so called Alman actually. Lactose intolerant? actually does generally embody many of the same stereotypes that Americans have for Germans as well, like being someone who is always punctual and wears the socks and sandals, of course. However, there are even more specific stereotypes of an Alman that I had never heard as stereotypes for Germans until we moved to Germany. Like, for example, unlike a Karen, a DW article once wrote, Almans don't want to speak to the manager, they want to speak to you, meaning they are also confrontational and will address you directly if they believe you are in any way out of line. For example, an Alman will personally berate you if, like, you cross the street when the red light is showing. Oh, yeah. The, 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 you know, one of the things in the United States, uh, you'll see people, if there's nobody coming and it turns, you know, you know, the, 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 the sidewalk is not, you know, is, is red, stop. You go anyway because there's no car coming. It's not a big deal. No cop is going to give you a ticket for jaywalking or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, and then this guy apparently is one who, uh, an almond who will, will chastise you for that. At the crosswalk or if you start to mow your lawn on a Sunday. Almonds also have memes about them waking up at the crack of dawn on vacation to run down to the hotel pool to lay out their towel on the prime lounging chairs then going back to bed just so they can make sure and reserve the perfect spot for relaxing all day before anybody else gets them. Or you know you find an almond's home if their lawn is perfectly manicured and they have a few garden gnomes directing the garden. Now, those are just a few examples of the German stereotypes of the Alman that I am aware of, but let me know in the comments any others that you... Yeah, that is kind of funny, you know, uh, you know, you know, in the United States you have a Karen, but you have an Alman in Germany who, you know, goes on vacation, gets up at the crash, so he has the prime uh, pool spot or things like that. That is interesting you know of that I may not have heard about. So unlike a Karen, which is of course a common first name in the US, the word Alman is not a German word at all, but is actually the Turkish direct translation for German. And there is some debate as to whether or not this is a racial slur against white Germans. But from what I have seen from the outside looking in, it does seem like it has been embraced by many younger Germans like Phil Lauda to poke fun at their own countrymen. Now, there are countless Instagram and meme pages online that I follow of Germans posing as a perfect almond, and as I have tried to integrate into German culture. Almond sounds like a nut in the United States. You have almonds. Sounds like a nut. That's what it sounds like to me. Culture and society and <laughs> blend in a little bit more. I feel like I've started noticing that I'm accidentally starting to transform myself into said stereotype. Well, you're, you're, you're well on your way with the socks and the sandals. There you go. That's something in American you, you know, I mean, if you ever want to give yourself away as being German, you know, that's one way of doing it. Although, you know, like Morgan Freeman said in uh, uh, Shawshank Redemption, how often do you notice another man's shoes? But... <laughs>